Thanks, Charlotte. Okay, let's get back to the fun part of driving. Craig Singhaas roves the countryside to find quintessential cars and the people who make them interesting. He takes the high road, this time to a time before that road was even paved. This is a genuine 1917 Packard truck that was restored by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, and it represents a milestone in the history of transportation. You see, a handful of trucks, just like this one, were the very first to pioneer interstate trucking in America, and they were called the Wingfoot Express. Before 1917, most of America was moved by railroad. Horsepower meant horse-drawn wagons hauling goods from warehouse to railhead. And there was no need for speed traps because motorized trucks could move at only four or five miles per hour over crude roads. There were lots of damaged goods and sore kidneys, mostly because of the hard, solid rubber tires on trucks. The pneumatic or air-filled tire was available for cars, but the pneumatic truck tire was not yet perfected until the Wingfoot Express caravan. For America, World War I was only three days old when the very first Wingfoot Express trucks on their pneumatic tires, started the trip from Akron, Ohio to Boston, Massachusetts. Now that trip today would be measured in hours, but that very first one took 28 days. Highways were unheard of, and most roads were really farm trails. It also took 28 tires to get that first convoy to Boston. And there were no CB radios either, good buddy. The Wingfoot Express drivers also explored routes to Florida and San Francisco. In crossing Wyoming, 35 of 56 bridges collapsed under the weight of Wingfoot trucks, and the pioneers persevered over almost non-existent roads. They eventually helped establish what would become interstate trucking in America. Almost seven decades later, to commemorate the Wingfoot Express, Goodyear pried the remains of an early truck from a frozen Minnesota bog. It was a 1917 Packard, just like the one from the old kidney-busting days. Working from old photographs, craftsmen and artists authentically restored the old Packard to its former glory. They scoured the country to find the right parts. The headlamps came from Chicago, the differential gear from a barn in Pennsylvania, and ironically, Goodyear got the tires from a fire station in Arizona. And just to prove that those tires could still do their job, Goodyear entered the Wingfoot Express in the Great American Race, a coast-to-coast -coast dash for pre-1935 cars and trucks. Well, it took a mid-race engine swap to get the old Packard from Los Angeles to New York, but the old hauler still had its pioneer grit. The Wingfoot completed its coast-to-coast -coast trek, and along the way, reminded millions of Americans that the spirit of adventure is still alive and well, out on America's highways.